In this video, I'm going to share with you how to download the plugins so that we can export the 3D models from 3D Studio Max to Twinmotion. So let's go ahead and go to twinmotion.com and we will next go to Y Twin Motion and then we will move over to plugins. And when we scroll down, we should be able to see this option here, Datasmith Exporter Plugin. We will download this by clicking on the download option. And we will click on download now. And we will save this at the location we can remember. So I'm going to go ahead to just save it in this folder here. And once the download is complete, we can just click on it and get it to install. The Unreal Datasmith exporter will be able to detect whatever existing version that we have installed in our computer. So as you can see down here, I've got Autodesk 3D Studio Max version 2020 installed. And I'm going to use this and click on install. I'm going to go ahead to just close the application first. and let it retry again and when installation is complete we will click finish that is all to the plugin installation so let's take a look and see what happens after the installation is done so we're going to go ahead and start up 3D Studio Max now. And with this, I will just load a 3D model. And I'm going to try to export this file out. So I'm going to go to File and Export and click on the Export option here and I'm going to select the location where to save it I'm just going to save it here alright and I'm going to call it let's say 9 grid site export and once this is done I am going to choose save as type and I will choose this one here let me just move this further up and I'm going to look for this option here called Unreal Data Smith. So I'm going to click on Unreal Data Smith option here and save it. I can go ahead and just leave these options default and click OK. And that's it. The export is done. So let's go ahead and switch over to now Twin Motion. And inside Twin Motion here, we're going to click on okay, this import tab here under import import so we're going to click on this and click on the open button here and look for this 9 grid export new datasmith file this will be the exported file and we're going to click open and import and the file is already imported inside because the camera is by default located dead center in the space which is x coordinate 0 and y coordinate 0 so we will need to roll down to be able to see the model here okay somewhere here and we can use our navigation buttons to be able to see this in the correct orientation like that you will notice that the model appears a little bit floating this way 
So what can happen is we can proceed to raise the ground level up a little bit like that by dragging the geese more okay but we're not going to do this we are going to just mouse over this z axis gizmo and we will key in 0 0.4 and press enter and this should align the ground plane very very closely underneath the base of the dying grid model here this way after this is done we will want to make sure that our import units are correct so how do we do this one of the methods I use quite frequently when I'm trying to establish a unit whether this is correct or not is to use a human figure size so I'm going to click on this button down here and we're going to use animated humans okay it is under this portion here under library button when we expand out we're going to look for characters and then we'll click on animated humans and we can just use any of the human figures here so I'm going to just uh, use any one of this here and drag it into the side down here now as we know that the grid one grid unit here it's about two meters so if we rotate this around and do a bit of a comparison the human figure should be about between 1.6 to 1.8 or so and in doing that we can be quite sure that this model is correctly sized in this case that's how we can establish that we have imported the 3d model correctly